Your name? My name is Excellency Amin Sayyidi Badawa, one of the youngest presidential aspirants under our great party, the APC. Mr. President signed what we call the Not Too Young to Run Bill into law, which gives Nigerian youth the opportunity to contest on various seats, ranging from the President down to the National Assembly. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, the, 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 the age limit for contesting for President was reduced from 45 to 35. And I'm one of the youngest presidential aspirants so far that answered the call of Mr. President that contest. I'm a true representative of Nigerian youth, and Nigerian youth, the totality of Nigerian youth are in support of me, and they are ready to vote in youth as their president come 2023. Nigerian youth are ready to rally, rally around me as their aspirant come 2023. Yes. yes, I have a foundation that is called Amin Sayyid Badia Foundation. I have read a lot in my community, and my community are proud of me. I work with different uh, organizations here in the country and in, uh, uh, and in the foreign countries. And I have great job, of, I have given employment opportunity to our youth, and I believe if I'm given the opportunity, if my party, the APC, make me the candidate come 2023, I'm going to take this country to a promised land where there will be fixed power supply, where the life and property of Nigerians is secured. And I will make uh, a Nigerian youth, I will make my administration as a president come 2023 if I become the president youth friendly. Um, I'm going to declare war. War. If I say war, I mean war against poverty. Yes. If we reduce the poverty limit of this country to the minimum level, believe me, the issue of insecurity will be a matter of history. Yes, I have said it earlier that you should declare war against poverty. We should create policies that will alleviate poverty and we should fix people, uh, patriotic citizens, that will make sure that this, the resources push in to combat poverty in this country reaches the hand of the average talaka, the average poor person in this country. Because the policies are okay, they are reliable, but as a matter of fact, let me be sincere, the poor person is not testing the, the, the aroma of these resources in this country. And this is the truth. I will make sure I fix in patriotic people, reliable people, Nigerian youth. Let me say something. Going back a little bit to history, Yakubu Gewon became president at the age of 28. And then Nigerian youth then were able to perform a lot. They were able to, 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 to bring a lot of achievement to the growth and development of this country. So I'm going to fix in Nigerian youth. I'm going to make it youth friendly. Believe me, believe me, Nigerian youth are capable. They have the ability. So if you make them part of the administration, ministers, uh, advisors to the president, and uh, senators even, believe me, there will be a lot of changes. I'm a youth already. You can hear, you can perceive me talking. So I am a true representative of Nigerian youth. I direct it to you now that do you have the capacity, do you have the wisdom, do you have the knowledge and resources to fix this Nigeria? I have the knowledge, I have the capability to fix the challenges of this country. I'm saying this, I'm not bragging. What do you do? I'm a businessman, I'm a farmer. This is what I do for a living. That's nice. Congratulations. Can we see your, uh, your posters? This is my poster, so that... Nigerian youth. It's a, youth, it's, it's, a, it's a youth for youth agenda, you can see it. Youth for youth agenda. And you can see I am talking about Nigerian youth. Let's, let's go back to history, please. The youth were able to take this country. They fight, they sacrifice themselves to the growth and development of this country. Why are we not calling the youth now? Why are we taking the youth to the dustbin? It's not good. Let's encourage, let's encourage the youth. Let's bring them together. Let them don't see them as a drug addict. Let's believe in our youth. The youth are the backbone of every civilized and reasonable economy. This is what we are saying. So it's a rally of Nigerian youth. This is the representative of Nigerian youth. I'm the representative of Nigerian youth. And let me say this. Nigerian youth are ready to vote me in come 2023. 2023 will be a different system. I'm Thank telling you. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you. Again. My name is Aminu Sayyid Badawa, Excellency Aminu Sayyid Badawa from Kano State. Aminu Sayyid Badawa. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. When you are home live to GTV Africa, uh, that's a very young man of less than 40 that wants to become a president come 2023. What? The feed is open for everyone, for every contestant. I pray. One of the youths, like me, will become president of the country. All right. Um, I is going to manage to get the resources. I can tell.
Subscribe to our YouTube channel, GTV Africa, and like our Facebook page. I'm Bemiga Olamikon.